Uh, I think it's an important question, the one of the role of fructose-containing sugars, including sucrose and high fructose corn syrup in the epidemics of overweight obesity and diabetes. I think it's an important uh, question because I think it's one that's been uh, really uh, made quite emotional and political uh, given the, the coverage that it's had. And I think it requires really a very careful look at the best level of evidence we have to inform public policy and clinical practice guidelines. And we look at that highest level of evidence from the best controlled observational studies we have and the best designed randomized trials that we have, what we find is that fructose-containing sugars really only have a role in overweight obesity and diabetes in so far as they contribute excess energy to the diet. So where they are providing excess energy so that people are gaining weight, uh, becoming overweight and obese, developing diabetes, then we see that there's an issue, but only in so far as it's providing excess energy. I think we need to rely on sound science because this debate has been so co-opted by the animal studies and the poorly designed observational studies. And any time that we want to make public health recommendations and we want to make clinical practice recommendations, we have to rely on an, rely on an evidence-based framework. So I think it's really incumbent on us to use and apply this evidence-based framework to answer such a uh, topical and such an emotional question. The advice that I would give my patient as it relates to sugars and fructose containing sugars is that if you are in a positive energy balance, if you are consuming more calories than you need, than you are burning due to your physical activity or your basal metabolic rate, and those are coming from sugars, then those should be reduced. But I think we have to look at the whole diet because we're also talking about refined carbohydrates and processed meats and red meats and a lot of other sources of calories which contribute to overconsumption. So it's likely that we need, we're overconsuming too much in general and we need to consume less of these things in general. I think it's a very seductive debate. I think because the biochemistry is so strong, because uh, those of us that have been trained in science, uh, when we've done our undergraduate science or our high school science, we've learned that fructose is metabolized differently than is glucose, and that it might be more lipogenic. It might be able to promote fat and weight gain more. But I think biochemistry and, me and metabolism is one thing. We need to actually look at the clinical effects, the downstream consequences. As a physician, that's very important to me. And we look at those effects. We don't see what the biochemistry tells us.